Hi guys! In this tutorial I will show you how to create a concrete shader in Cinema 4D and V-Ray. So let's jump in. First of all create V-Ray Bridge V-Ray Advanced Material and name it Concrete. After doing this in the diffuse layer, in texture of the diffuse color, I'm gonna apply my concrete uh, texture. And now I apply my concrete shader of, on uh, my shadow ball. Change my projection uh, setting to uh, spherical and tiles of 2x2 two two to, to have a better result in my scene. After doing this, I'm gonna to activate my specular layer and copy this map in the diffuse color in the diffuse in the specular color layer. Now apply a filter to create a white black and white map decreasing the, saturas the saturation of my maps and activate enable clipping now play with settings to create the texture I want to create an high grade contrasted map for my specular channel layer return to my settings of specular layer and uh, decrease the reflection glossiness of about 0.6 this uh, uh, allow us to create uh, um, more uh, a less shiny material that is concrete is uh, in, uh, in in real life after doing this I'm going to see what happens in my render Ok, my basic concrete is good and now uh, I can uh, um, increase the realism of my material um, applying it uh, um, a little bit of uh, bump. To do this, I'll open the material editor, activate the bump map, uh, the bump channel and copy my uh, specular color maps in my texture uh, channel of the BAM map ok now let's try 0, 0, 0.05 and then I want to increase the white area of my image to see a better result in my BAM map Ok, after doing this I'm gonna to see what happened in my render scene. So, render to picture viewer.
ok let's compare the results with the previous render to see what happened as you can see I have a little bit of um, changes on my shader but I think there's something to adjust to have a better result so open material editor first of all in bump map I increase the bump amount of about 0.1 centimeter and in my specular layer I'm gonna to increase my reflection glossiness of about uh, 0 0.7 and decrease the mixed strength of my texture uh, map to have a better result in my specular channel so about 0.5 let's try it it's too heavy but I think in decreasing again to 0.6 my reflection glossiness the result is good so let's try this in my render set, render viewer ok my render is, is done and I compare it with the previous one to see what happened as you can see I have some very thin detail announced in, my, in the last render in this area and I obtain a uh, more realistic look in these uh, edges with some specular spot on this for me the result is good and I hope you enjoy it and uh, see you at the next tutorial bye